So I'm making this video to dispel any notion that what Anthony did was marketing. So when Anthony drives a Lambo, it's marketing. When Anthony talks to an investor, we're going to use your money to buy a Lambo for marketing. When Anthony goes to Narset, marketing. When Anthony makes YouTube, marketing, 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 marketing. When he goes to LA and he goes on a alcoholic drinking binge, marketing. No matter what Anthony does, his excuse for behaving very poorly is that it's simply marketing. And you don't understand because you don't know marketing as well as Anthony does. My point is he was given $2 million. He took another $3 million somehow. And in two years, what has he really achieved from a marketing standpoint? Marketing is today very analytical. When I do marketing for my clients, they don't, they just don't give me money and hope for the best. They want clicks. They want phone calls. They do phone tracking with call rail which records all the customers that come in from a specific phone number. So even that, when we do marketing, we have we market a phone number that redirects to the main line, but it tells us that hey, you know, this came from Google Ads, this came from Facebook, it's a a number. Each of these media have a different number. So if Anthony wanted to do marketing on Instagram, for instance, he wanted to find out how many leads came from Instagram, he would have a different phone number at Instagram than his main website. And then he could determine how many leads come from his main website. Um, it would all be redirected to the same number, but it would tell him and he would know, oh, Instagram, I got this lead from Instagram. This is somebody who found me on Instagram and called me using this specific number. We use that for Google Ads. It's actually un it's like not even reasonable, right? Everything records and that's analytics. Marketing is nothing without analytics, right? And milestones and leads, how many clicks do we get, how many impressions do we get, what was our market share? All of this stuff um Anthony does not do. Uh it is clear that he's not very good at math. It is clear that he's not good at analytics. So he's just spending money to spend money. And that's the difference. So if you want to know what the difference between marketing is, and, well, first of all, marketing, I always have to have a return on invest. I have to show that for every dollar I asked for and spent, I can return more than a dollar. Uh, for Anthony, his marketing is just spending the money and there's really little to no return. So to justify, and he honestly gives it a bad name, right? You can't say everything you do that you like doing is marketing. Um, because you don't track it, you don't track the leads, you don't actually understand the basis. You're trying to achieve profitability of marketing. I've never had a client say, hey, I'm going to give you all this money. I don't want more customers. I don't want more leads. I don't want you to track. Every month we do reporting, reporting per client takes four or five hours a client. I'm not kidding, at the end of the month, it, it gets really hectic um, depending on what day it falls because we're so busy doing reporting, pulling data from analytics, uh, we do SEO, see how many leads we get, Google Business and so on. It's astounding that there's no data, there's no, no, this is not marketing. Spending money just to spend money is, absolutely not marketing it's the reverse of market it's pretty disgusting in my opinion what Anthony has done here is he's used other people to money to live a lavish lifestyle that he does not deserve if I gave you five million dollars and told you to go to Los Angeles and try to build up your YouTube I think you everyone would do a better job than Anthony and we wouldn't have to tap out after like a year and a half right the whole penthouse incident was just dumb. It was terrible marketing. And you might say, oh, all marketing is good marketing. I I agree to an extent, but when you are trying to get people to consign with you, which is very, very much based on trust, not at all marketing is good marketing. And sometimes when you do put yourself out there and your flaws as well, and it's it's clear to me that his YouTube persona is very much edited. I don't edit my videos, but it's clear to me that who Anthony is on live stream is who he actually is. 
and the YouTube is like edited down to make him seem like a good guy. And I get that. I mean, in a whole week, if you have one one hour YouTube video, it is very easy. Like I talk about the Survivor reality TV show, they can paint you as a villain um, just in five minutes, right? Because it's that the show is one hour a week, and you were on the island for three days, so everyone has a five minute period where they might be grumpy, they might not be in a good mood, right? So Anthony has basically displayed himself as some type of marketing genius, right? When in fact, none of that was real. The real Anthony is him berating Wesley, him attacking, him saying, listen, 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 listen to me. Uh, the real Anthony is him going unhinged. That's who he is. So the Anthony on live stream is who he actually is. The Anthony on YouTube is a very edited version of who he is. Um, and I think that is probably the main takeaway I get from the live stream. Every live stream has ended very poorly. And I think we can all agree that the live streams have been tremendously bad for his reputation. Yet he continues to hop on, hop on, hop on. Not understanding that, you know, he is the main cause of his problem. That it's only worsening the event. At least when he's making a YouTube video, he could theoretically watch it, edit it. Um, even delete the video if it's not something that he wants to put out there. So, in my opinion, the real Anthony is on live stream, and he doesn't have a plan. He doesn't have any milestones. He doesn't have uh, analytics in place to allow him to track leads. The investor must have been a really, really nice guy because... Um, if he if he gave him two million dollars, I would want to know every single day or every single week at least how he's spending that money and what he hopes to achieve. So marketing, there's a goal in mind. The goal is to be profitable. The goal is to increase revenue. What is the point when you're drinking and driving and you're not posting in social media? And you know, I, I don't really see that as marketing because there's no point to it. There's no goal in mind. And when you have a goal, when you have milestones, when you have analytics in place to track your leads, to track how your marketing is going, you can put more money towards some marketing than to other marketing. But he has no idea what he's doing. He's just spending money. And spending money, in my opinion, is not marketing because most people, most small businesses don't have $2 million, $5 million to blow and just hope it all works out at the end. They simply do not have that type of money. Um, they must make a return on investment relatively soon. I mean, I've had clients tell me, hey, we need it like today, today, like the, the day they hire me. They're in such desperate. I typically don't go for those type of clients because they're going to call you every day. But nonetheless, there should be a return on investment for the marketing. You know, for every dollar you put in, they should be able to sell four dollars of stuff, making two dollars a profit. And there, there will come a point where it's called um, diminishing returns where you cannot spend more money um, and you know beyond a certain point of money, there's no point in spending anything else because the diminishing, the profitability. So if they give me $1 and I sell uh, an item for $3, but the margin of that item is $1, they break even. So maybe it's good for branding. Some people will do that. Some people are happy with breaking even. I tell you, nobody's happy with losing money on marketing side. But uh, most companies would say, okay, no, let's, let's just stop it at, you know, a dollar and 50 cents. So that, that's how much money they want to make. They want, so for every dollar they spend, they want to make profit 50 cents on that dollar. So they want to get their dollar back and for it to come back with 50 cents profit or 25 cents profit, 25, 50% is what I normally see in e-commerce. So marketing, um, it's a really easy excuse for Anthony to use to use somebody who does not really do marketing for a living. They might understand, oh, yeah, it's just marketing. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't think the government views it that way, and I personally don't view it that way. Marketing has to have a goal in mind, and if that goal is not achieved, then you need to stop spending money on that marketing. So if you're spending money on luxury meals, but the luxury meals aren't really helping your, and you, you're tracking all of this, you're tracking the posts and so on, it's not really helping the brand, well, then you need to stop money on it. That's my uh, opinion. Yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hi, guys.